Good morning guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video and today we're actually working on 135 You're gonna be making this car track ready, which means I just want to get this thing as reliable as possible Yeah, I can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life There's no telling you I ordered some major things for preventive maintenance that you guys have probably never even heard of. And we're also doing the engine oil pan and we're doing the engine mounts in this video. So trying to make sure that this car runs 100% right because I want to take this car to the track for the first time in my life. I never had a car that actually went down to the track because I never trusted any of my cars going on the track. But this car, I feel like can handle it and will be a blast. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash that like button. So without further ado, let's head down to the shop and see how hard it is to do an oil pan gasket on here. Place the engine mount. Probably do the AC condenser and a couple other things. All right, guys, before we actually head down to the shop, we do have to get some food, but we're all stopping at BMW to wait for our lawn. We do have a casual i8 just chilling there and a bunch of other beautiful BMWs. Oh my God, the G Series, it's starting to grow on me, I'm telling you. This car right now has a lot of vibration in the steering wheel. I can hear some weird noises coming from the engine bay. I do think it's because of the engine mount, so hopefully when I place the engine mount, everything should be good. I am starving, where is this boy? There is our lawn, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're at Chipotle, but it's actually Erlon's decision, so uh, let's get some Chipotle. All right, guys, so we just got at Chipotle. Erlon just installed his new turbos and manual swap. Let's get it, bro. Ready, boy? <laughs> Had our Chipotle, and uh, now I think we're pretty much ready to get into this 435. So we're gonna go ahead and lower it down and put on the engine support brakes, which is the reason actually why Alon's here because I've never actually done this stuff. He did it on his car, he did his turbos here, came out successful, he didn't kill anybody, he used our lift, he did it here. So I trust the process, but I don't trust it alone. So he's gonna be helping me. Shout out to Erlon. If you guys want to check out his channel, he also does BMW content in Texas. So if you guys are Texas guys or anywhere in the world that want to see, he actually does crazy DIYs again, like he did a manual swap turbos, he does pretty insane things I'm, I'm yeah I don't I you, you can do anything pretty much I just like I love mechanics yeah I do like making a car look good but mechanics if I could do my turbos for like 500 bucks why wouldn't I and and and, and yeah and also it's like money saving so it's like it's like motivational it's like Mo I can save what, money saving but the fact that I did my turbos. Yeah. And that I put my manual swap in it. And that piece of mind. Makes me love my car more because I do. The Maybe sentimental like value. I feel it. it you know? yeah, yeah, I feel it. So, yeah, again, guys, if you guys want to check out his channel, it's going to be linked down below. It's E39. E39. So, check out the link down below. And without further ado, let's just get into the video and start working on the 135. <laughs> So I ordered a, a I ordered a hood latch cable. It actually turned out being really short. I don't know why I ordered it for my exact car. So I'm gonna have to order another one, but this one works for now. So at least I can take my hood open and close. So I'm gonna rock this for now. The next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and just pretty much mount the engine up. So you have so that comes with every car, right? From like it comes for the tow hook compartment. Yeah, so you so Whatever you use for that, you're gonna go ahead and use on your engine that top piece right there. So you pretty much just tie it into that. Then we can go ahead and actually use the, the engine support and just latch on here. So it's pretty easy after that. I just never, I never even knew that's where it goes. I think you have to put chains around it or some shit. I'm really uneducated with this topic. But anyhow, this one, we have the engine support bar, right? So that's finally set. I'm literally losing my words, guys. And uh, he's pretty much tightening it up here. And we're just gonna pretty much keep tightening it until we see the engine move up just a little bit so we know that it's actually, you know, holding it where it needs to be. So now that that's good, uh, let's just go ahead and get the car up, right? All right, All right let's get This is an extra step that's completely unnecessary, but uh, your boy's messed up. Pretty 
much loosened up all the screws to this is like the coolant line right so it basically loosened up like four screws two on each side i basically got the subframe to drop um, and now we're looking down here, the oil pan is absolutely gunk. So that's definitely gonna have to get replaced. The whole, like the whole gasket, all the bolts, um, our engine mounts, how are those right now? This one, which is the one that usually goes out, it's bad. And then this one, and that one, a lot stiffer. Uh, we got these from FCP Euro lifetime warranty. So mine as well. All right, guys, we finally got the oil pan out of the 135. Oh, I was got a lot of oil in there. We got to dump all that shit out. Anyhow, finally, dude. So now we're just gonna have to clean this off and then uh, put on a new gasket. And we're gonna actually clean the engine on the bottom too. Put some engine de engine decreaser. No, not on the engine. We're just gonna brake clean it. Oh, just brake clean it all. Um, that is crazy. What is that? Like stick out of the middle of the engine. That's your oil pump. Damn, that is crazy. Look at that. I've never seen one of those in my life. Oh, that's what picks up the oil. Luckily, if we I just looked in here. Yeah. And you have no belt fragments. So that means this car has never slipped the belt, sucked it in, and got fixed before. Or Hell yeah. Have. Usually what happens when you suck your belt in, you have to do all this just to get, make sure you have no belt in your pan because it gets sucked in here, blocks it, you go to rev, you know, go to drive Yeah, car. yeah. Oil starvation, you clogs up and yeah. stuff. Okay, well that's good guys, because Jonathan snapped it twice, so. <laughs> Thank the Lord, we are good. All right guys, let me go ahead and clean up a little bit, and we're gonna go ahead and clean up this pan. Get a new gasket on there, uh, and we're gonna have to go down to Walmart and get some new things, right? All right, guys, so we're gonna have to go ahead and head out, pick up some more things for the car. So uh, I think all we need to do is get rags and oil, right? Rags, oil, and brake cleaner. And brake cleaner. And uh, pretty much we can clean up the engine bay, clean up the oil pan, uh, just pretty much get everything cleaned up, and then we'll have fresh oil, and then, yeah, we just need rags to clean up everything. So anyways, I'm, I'm at least decently clean to head out. We might even just get some drinks because it is super hot out, and uh, we need to get something to, get to refresh ourselves. We've been here for a little bit, but uh, anyhow, half of the job is done, which is great. The engine mounts are actually really easy to remove, so we'll do that hopefully in the end. It's just one bolt off the top. So uh, yeah, I, I, let's just go get something to drink, and I'll see you guys when we actually have everything here. Actually, no, I'll bring you guys with me. Come on. All right, guys, we got some rags, some oil, uh, some juice. I'm about to try some mango juice. I'm gonna pick up some mango juice, some uh, some whole grain crackers, and uh, just some stuff for the shop as well. We also got some thread lock for the power steering pump because the bolts keep backing out for some reason. We're just gonna put a little bit on there to make sure it stays on snug, but anyhow. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, damn. <laughs> Take two. Dun, 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 dun. It'd be so cool if there's actually a car right there. But anyhow, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and just take a small little break, drink, uh, eat a little bit, and then we'll get straight back into work. You know I do it for the family, yeah. Give a fuck about a Grammy, yeah. Cause they would never understand me, no. This thing looks really clean. That's only because Erlan wanted to do the extra mile. Uh, <laughs> Cause Erlan wanted to go the extra mile and just clean the inside of it. A lot of, like there's some obviously some hard stains, but for the most part, we got pretty much all the gunky stuff out of here. And even the bottom looks a lot better than it did. It used to be just absolutely disgusting. So, oh, there's a little cap sticking out there. It's for the, uh, so you can get to the torque converter bolts. Ah. So mm. anyhow, this is pretty damn clean. All we gotta do is put the- Let's put the gasket on here, right? Gasket on, or clean the block. We just have to clean the block. Make sure oh. the surface is smooth and clean. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then we put on the gasket. Gasket, and then so, re-bolt. Yeah. Guys, Erlan is talking to his girl right now. I just, again, want to give him a huge special shout out. Like, look how good he cleaned this for me. He's a really good friend for honestly doing that. That is so nice. And like, honestly, I didn't even want to do it, but he was like, I want to make sure you have a really clean engine bay. Like, he, he went out of his way. Check out his channel down below. Show him some love, guys. I think his goal is to hit a thousand subscribers, so he's almost there, guys. Get him to a thousand subscribers. I think he's only 300 away. Get him to a thousand subscribers, guys. I'm saying this, and he doesn't even know that, so um, by the time he sees this video, let's hopefully get his channel to a thousand subscribers. Love you guys so much. All right, guys, so Erlan also went ahead and cleaned all these surfaces. This thing looks absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, what a good engine, right? Hallelujah. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put this in there, and then, uh, well, actually, we need to put the gasket on, right? Look at that bug. Trying to literally mix up with my oil and shit. Leave him in there, live in there. Just, all right, just let him be. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get the gasket out. So we got one from FCP Euro. Not like lifetime warranty is great and all, but I swear to God, I have to take this thing apart again. Anyhow, that's you have, that. If you have to take this apart one more time, junk it. This. <laughs> <laughs> 
lies. I put my hands together, send my prayers up to the skies. I'm the one you can't deny. You can see it in my eyes. Be the realest man. Fuck the mother guy. You know I do it for the family. Yeah. Give a fuck about it, Grammy. Yeah. Cause they would. Alright, guys, for the most part, we got all the bolts pretty much on their hand tied. We're gonna figure out the torque spec and make sure these are torqued properly so you have no more oil leaking. This is gonna be an absolute blessing, hopefully. Or a curse if we snap a bolt. That'd be absolutely insane. Power steering pump. Once we get that pretty much on there and 100% good to go, we're just gonna go ahead and replace the engine mounts and just start buttoning up everything. But I'm super happy. Hopefully, no more major leaks. I'm, I'm pretty sure the valve cover has been done, but we're gonna have to replace the oil filter housing just so we have no leaks. That'd be absolutely perfect. the old engine mount we just pulled this little sucker out so what's going on with it that big crack oh there is a crack Another. yeah so that's just how loose and old this thing is it's pretty bad all right guys we just mounted both engine mounts so something that we did and that's actually completely my fault i actually ordered two left side engine mounts but they look exactly the same so i don't I don't really know. They're, apparently, I looked up online, and the right sides are like a hundred bucks, and the left sides like forty bucks. But they look the exact same, right? Other than the heat shield. Yeah, so I guess the left one just has a heat shield. Because I guess the the, the downpipes, right? Because right next yeah. to it. And then the left one on every car I've ever taken apart that needed motor mounts, the left one's shot. Always. It's always the one that's shot, and that one's always more expensive. Yeah. So that's probably why they made it. Because yeah, they but they look the, the exact same, side by side, exactly the same. So. We just went ahead and just installed both left sides. I think it'll be just fine. Once we mount up everything, we'll see if everything lines up, but so far so good. So anywho, uh, we're just doing, what, what happened? Even if it fails, it'll still last you a very long time before it fails. The thread lock that we're using, they're, they're medium, you're saying? Yeah, the medium strength. Medium strength, just yeah, so if we ever need to back it out, right? If you ever need to remove it, you actually can remove it pretty easily because this one, these torques, we all know they like to strip, so. Yeah, so it just makes it pretty much snugger, but it's not permanent. Exactly. Perfect. Okay, perfect, let's go ahead and get that done. Time. Just want the mood to be right, keeping it low in the night, yeah. So long, since I get a glimpse of a light, it's blurring out my eyes. Oh, oh, we should open up a window. Oh, oh, I can't see clear. Oh, oh, I don't know how to win, to win, Cause it's just my habits. So I started up. Alright guys, me and Arlon just pretty much finished piecing together the 135. It still has this really weird sound that I actually be throwing a clip in right now. So yeah, that was shot from my phone. It's making some weird noise. I'm not really sure what it is. It's, it's it, like, it, I can't really tell. It sounds from like the back of the motor, but I'm really not 100% sure. So Erlan just found a video actually on YouTube that actually sounds very similar to our issue. We're thinking it could possibly be the power steering pump, mainly because uh, it did get, become loose on Jonathan twice and the belt snapped off of it twice. And maybe when it was loose, it was like pretty much spinning and it maybe like did something weird with the bearing. And now that it's all straightened out, the belt is just constantly going on. It's just causing something weird. I'm not really too sure. I think it honestly makes sense because this issue wasn't here when you guys, because you and Jonathan went to go get this car, right? No. Man. And you went with Jonathan? Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. 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 Jonathan went to Texas to Erlon yeah, to, to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to pick up this car and they didn't have this issue then, but then recently when the belts were snapping off, it started having this issue. So hopefully it's not an internal engine thing. Hopefully it's just the thing in the front, the, the, the power steering pump. But anyways, we'll figure that out down the road. Huge shout out to Erlon for helping me out. His channel's gonna be linked down below. Show him some love. He's having a big project of his own. He just pretty much swapped out the turbos. He did a manual swap and that thing's nowhere near complete. It's gonna be pretty crazy, right? Hopefully. Hopefully. So uh, if you guys wanna check that out, again, link down below. He has, he has even videos on how the, the manual swap and everything, right? So links down below, guys. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Support your boy by copying some merch down below. Remember to stay home. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.